Hello everybody, Peter KJ5AJB here with the uh, Ham Radio Crib Notes. Uh, looks like spring has hit us here. We've had uh, thunderstorms and stuff rattling through Mississippi and uh, a lot of the other southeastern states. And I'm sure a lot of y'all around the country have been getting a lot of weather here lately. But uh, anyways, I'm going to start this off. We're going to talk about uh, cluster commands for in Ham Clock right now and how to turn on and off certain things. I've got a few lines I've inserted into my uh, ham clock right now that are I've got them turned off and then I'll turn them on and uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll explain, try and explain the way I think they work anyways. And uh, there's an extensive uh, list of commands online. I'll have a link for that. I'll show it to you. But anyways, let's start this off with uh, thank you all to the new subscribers and uh, likes. Uh, I'm well over 290 subs now, and that's great. So we're this thing's taking off and growing pretty good. Uh, I'm going to try and hit uh, 300 or 350 by the end, end of next month in April there. Uh, I don't know what you all have been up to here lately, but I've been restringing my fishing poles, getting ready to go do some fishing. It's time to get out there and probably do some poda work. I noticed on the bands today there's a lot of contest stuff going on, so that's cool. So anyways, uh, let's get going here. So I'm going to start off with like a couple of news things here. Well, actually, another one of them's a, a issue some of the guys in the uh, on the net were having an issue in ham clock with is... Uh, on the map display, you can actually turn the Aurora display on and off, but also in the, I think it's on page five on the left, left hand side, there's a checkbox where you can select it to turn on the Aurora map. Okay. If that is turned on, it'll override what you said on the map itself. So a lot of them couldn't figure out why if they turned it off on the map, it kept showing up on them. And, uh, I happened to, Go in and look at the uh, the settings, the main settings on ham clock, and and deselected that on mine, and that cured the problem. So, if you're having that issue and you haven't figured it out yet, uh, yeah, page five in the settings will turn. There's a setting in there for the Aurora map. You can turn that off right there, and uh, because if you have it turned on, the setting on the map itself will not override that. So, um, other interesting things I came across lately was uh. Uh, RFI from gas meters, uh, nowadays, because a lot of folks are getting the, the newer modern gas meters on their homes and stuff like that. While well, they, uh, report back to the gas company and, you know, on your usage and stuff, they don't have to go out no longer and, uh, actually read it off the meter itself. So there's, uh, electronic gadgets in there and, uh, and that can create RFI in your, in your system. And, uh, I had never thought about that until I uh, read it on the on the uh, news article on the Ham Radio News. Um, another thing I came across was uh, a, uh, a web page called Ham Cam Front Door, and uh, I will uh, switch to that here. Let's see, go to my screen share. Yeah, that's not it. This one's it. All right. So, uh, ham cam front door here. Get my little uh, pointer up here. Uh, this is it here. I'll put the link down below too, so you can uh, hook up to it. Uh, move my camera so I'm centered there. Uh, but anyways, when you get on there, you put your call sign in the orange box for here, and you can log into any of the room below. Uh, there's a list here of everybody that's in there now, and I guess it's you can get in there and video chat with everybody. Uh, I guess it's a web-based, kind of like Zoom thing, just for ham operators, so I thought that, that was pretty cool. It's the other thing that was in the news here lately was... Uh, um, let's see, that FCC, the comment period on deregulating everything. That seems to be a hot topic in the ham radio community right now. And uh, oh, probably keeping a lot of us unsure of what's going on, but uh, 
if if you have concerns in them, I suggest you voice them to your congressman. And uh, um, but other thing was uh, the Voice of America being sh possibly shut down. I guess there's been an injunction right now to keep it open for now, but uh, I guess we'll see what will happen with that. And I, I understand they're trying to eliminate a lot of the fraud, waste, and abuse in the government right now to save us all some money, which is I'm all for that. Uh, so we'll we'll see how that goes. All right, let's move on here. Uh, DX clusters. I came across a an art a thing. Uh, I was looking at the clusters on my ham clock first, and you know you generally get a little bit of everything feeding in there off the default. And uh, so I just wanted specific things, and I knew there were cluster commands you could put in there, but I didn't know anything about how you do it or anything like that. So I did some poking around the net, and I came across some. Uh, some of the forums where people are talking about it, one in the Innovato forum and uh, others on Reddit and stuff like that. I uh, came across a, a little note from the, the guy that does the DX cluster in the, in the UK there. That's the uh, dxspider.co.uk cluster. And uh, he posted a couple of... Uh, Good comments there, and he also included a link into the DX cluster manual. Uh, I'll show you that here real quick. Switch pages here. So this is that link there, and you can see it's got everything you need to know here. And the main thing is, is figuring out how to use it. It gives a little examples there and this and that. But I'm going to show uh, what I've done with mine. I've connected my ham clock to our to my uh, to a capture card. And we'll get into that. I uh, came across a, a little setup that uh, somebody had in theirs on uh, rejecting certain things and accepting certain things. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I, those are the ones I've included. So I'm going to go to my uh, ham clock overlay here. And, uh, and this is what I've got right now. You can see uh, up here and on the air i've got that set just to show that for the time being because i didn't want it to interrupt the the video here so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to click on the little lock icon i'm going to go to restart ham clock click ok oh. I must not have clicked in the right spot. You start to am clock. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. Click anywhere. We're going to go in the setup. Okay. Go to page two. I'll show you that page five thing too for the Aurora map after I get done with this. So you notice. On the left-hand side here, I've got cluster set to yes. UDP is no. Watch is off. Uh, the port is 7300, and I'm using the DX Spider from the UK there, and you use your call sign as the login. Okay, so I already preset the commands in here, and I've got them turned off right now. So this first line here is uh, a rejecting spot. So it's going to reject HFCWR. TTY and data. And then the second line, it's going to accept certain things and it's going to accept spot one frequency, HF and SSB. Okay. And then I'm going to reject spots on certain frequencies on the third line here on 160 meters, 80 meters, 30 meters, and 17 meters. And one more line of rejecting spot three on 16 meters, 15 meters, 14 meters, and 12 meters. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and I'll uh, turn each one of these on. I guess I had one of them still on from before. Or I accidentally turned it on with the touchpad here. Okay, let me go up to page five and I'll show you the, uh, the Aurora thing. On the left-hand side here, on page five, it says auto space weather map. Set it to no if you don't want it to be constantly on. Just so you know.
And let me go down here to the, where'd my pointer go? And there it goes. Can't see it behind my head there. There we go. So now it's going to start up. Not sure why, but for some reason my audio dropped out on the last part of the video there, so I have to I had to reshoot it. But anyways, um, you can see up on the uh, the cluster commands here, it's pulling in most of the HF stuff. One of the things I found is that initially after you go back in to your ham clock launching and everything, you have to wait a little bit for the DX commands to update. So it'll filter out the ones you don't want, and it'll include the ones you do want. So, um, I think there was one other hot topic I came across recently, but anyways, on these commands, if you have any, uh, tips or stuff like that to share with us, go ahead and put them in the comments down below. And, uh, I hope you, uh, enjoyed this video. And if you did, get my little sign there. Don't forget to subscribe and like. It won't hurt you to subscribe. It's like right down there somewhere. You know, you can turn it off later on if you want. But uh, thank you all for watching and then enjoyed that. Oh, the other thing I came across was uh, I seen uh, Apple has included the Starlink into their satellite emergency thing. And uh, I think they were going with Global Sat or something like that before. And now they've uh, switched over to the Starlink thing, which is a pretty cool deal, I think, on that one for emergency comms. So. Anyways, uh, if you guys got any other tips on cluster commands, go ahead and put them down there in the comments and let me know. Uh, if you see something I've kind of goofed up here, let me know and I'll see if I can uh, fix it. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the information here. Uh, this is KJ5AJB. Uh, we'll be signing off. 73s.